Hello everyone, I'm Steve Venner, G0TAN. Hopefully, uh, some of you have been watching some of our uh, useful product videos um, that are on, appear on YouTube and other such places. Um, what we're going to do today is something a little bit different. We get uh, customers come into the store or phone us up and ask us how to do certain things on the new product that they've uh, just bought. So what we thought we'd do is try and do some little short training videos to show you some of the more simple functions, how to do certain things such as uh, on this radio, the FT991. Um, I'm going to try and show you how to program the, the regular memories. It's fairly straightforward, um, but some things can happen which makes it a little bit more difficult. So we thought we'd clarify something for you, uh, make your life a lot easier. So. Um, everything that I'm going to show you is actually in the user manual um, and I know with some, some products the user manuals are quite thick these days, they take quite a bit of reading. Um, hopefully uh, I can point you in the right direction where to look and show you what to do and show you that it's really simple, it's not too difficult at all. So as far as the 991 memory functions are concerned, um, there are five uh, functions that are available to you. There's 99 regular memories, the ones that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. There is also a quick memory bank. Uh, there's about uh, six of those. There are some programmed home channels, if you want to uh, use those. Um, there's programmable band edge um, memories for when you're doing scanning, such like. And there's also, for the US and the UK markets, there's also a bank of memories specifically for the 5 meg operation. But what I'm going to do today is show you just how to do and how easy it is to use the, the regular me uh, memory function. Well, here's a radio that I've partially prepared earlier so to speak. Um, we're currently in VFOA mode, which is where we want to be, which is where you should be when you first want to start programming some memories. Um, and you basically, you tune it to the band and the mode that you want it to, uh, want to program into the memory. So we're currently at 14.17 megs and we're on upper side band, which is great. So you want to pro program a memory. So as I say, on the regular memories, there are 99. So I've already programmed some in here or, uh, when I was playing about with it yesterday. What we do first, over on the right hand side, just to the right of the VFO, there's an A to M uh, button, which basically means it's going to transfer the contents of whatever is stored on the screen here, uh, VFO A, uh, frequency, etc. And it's going to store that in memory. So what you first do is do a very short press of that. And then you can see down here the list of the current memories that we have. And if you turn the multi-channel knob, you can see we're currently on number nine. So if we go the other way, we can see I've programmed all these frequencies already in here. So what you want to do, if you want to program a new frequency or overwrite something, you select the memory number that you want. So I'm going to go up to memory number 10, I believe, memory number 10. So I selected the one I want to write to, and you press and hold the A to M button. And that's it, that's done, right? So that was, that's how easy it is to store a memory. Now the problem that we get is when, uh, the problem that we get asked quite often is, well, how do you recall the memory? You've got it stored in there, where do you see them? Um, well, you basically what you do is uh, over here, you will see um, at the moment we've got the multi-channel knob set to RF power. We want to eventually go into memory mode. We're still currently in um, VFO mode, as you can see from up here. So we want to go into memory mode. So just by pressing that button, we are now in memory mode, and it's taken us straight to the last entry uh, that we programmed in. But at the moment, we can't change anything. It's the the multi-channel knob is still set to RF power. So what you have to do is to change the function of that multi-channel knob or multi-function knob to set the um, memory channels. And to do that, you press quickly the F button at the top, and you will see a button here that says MCH, which is memory channels. And if you just touch that, there we go. Now we can come back out of that, back to the normal display. And now when you change, you'll see that all the memory functions go all the ones that we, through all the ones that we programmed before. Okay, and we can even see now the five, the specific pre-programmed five meg functions. But all the ones that you want to go through goes from memory one at 7 megs, memory 2, 7.015, CW, 40 meters, um, and so on, all the way up the band. 
So that's, that's how easy it is to program. Now, the problem that happens sometimes is that because these close uh, controls are a little bit close together, being a small radio, if you just happen to touch the VFO, just a little bit, accidentally, you will go into memory tune mode, which means that basically it's taken the, the, the memory frequency that you had, and now you've just offset it a little bit. And now if you try and change that, it doesn't do it. It goes into this sort of MCK, which is a memory check mode. And well, how do you get back out of that? This, this is the problem that most people have. It's very simple. Just press again the V stroke M button straight back into memory mode. It's as simple as that. And now you, go, you can go back through the memories again. So that was a very quick way of showing you how to program, program the memories. Um, one, other th one other little feature what you can do to the memories is actually go into um, them and actually add a text label so you don't have to worry about the frequencies or anything like that. You see on the first channel I've got here in memory 01, I've actually programmed it to say first channel, well, that's fairly obvious. Um, I've got that one and I've set to 40 meters CW. Now if you want to go to one of those, what you do is uh, press and hold the F button, I believe, and then what you can do is go to the channel that you want to add a, an alpha tag to and just touch the tag button. Once you do that, you get a QWERTY keyboard come up and we can say channel number three if you want. So C-H-A-N space numbers three. And then just hit the enter button and you're done. And that's all there is to it. So again, something very simple. Um, the manuals, as I said earlier, they can be a little bit, a little bit bewildering the first time you read them. But um, once you get used to them, if you watch the video, um, you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. Just remember, don't touch the uh, VFO when you're doing stuff. You won't have any problems whatsoever. Well, that was the very, very brief introduction on how to program the FT991, um, just the regular memories. I say there are other various mem memory options available to you. Um, just have a look through the manual, ha get the manual, put your feet up, have a cup of tea, cup, cup of coffee, something a bit stronger if you want. Just go through the manual slowly with the radio by your side and work through it and you won't, you shouldn't have any problems. Um, just to let you know, we, the FT991, we really, really like this radio. Um, it's proving to be a very, very popular seller. Um, and that's one reason why we're focusing on that at the moment as, as far as training is concerned. So um, there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions or comments based on this little one that I've done, just feel free to email me. I'm steve at mlands.co.uk um, or just call the sales guys and get them to put, put you through to Steve in the workshop. Okay, and then I'll be able to answer any questions that you might have, certainly about the 991 anyway. So thank you.